Hi, um, so this tutorial will go over the food stuff template area. Um, so I'll first go over the meal planner and how it works and it includes the ingredients template in the recipe gallery. So they'll, we'll go over those in here. So um, there's a little how to use um, overview right here and it's pretty straightforward, but the first thing that we'll go over um, is the most straightforward part, which is the ingredients um, table. So um, this is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's just a list of ingredients, just all of, all of the ingredients, like any ingredient, butter, milk, et cetera, anything that you would use in a recipe. Um, and whenever you add a new recipe to the recipe gallery and have an ingredient that you don't already have in this list, you'll add it. And I'll show you what that means in a second. But this is pretty straightforward. Um, you have the gallery of them. I like to add um, a cover image that includes um, the food and this is taking a while to load and um, it will show up and I, I don't know, I just think it's pretty like that. Um, it's not necessary whatsoever. Um, there's also a list. Um, and what's cool about this list is um, when you check this checkbox, this checkbox means in the inventory, it means you, you have it on hand in your house. Um, when you check it, it automatically goes to the bottom. So you see the things that you don't have and the things that you do have um, um, at the bottom. And you can switch that so that you see the things that you do have first. Maybe that's um, how you want to um, ideate what you can make is by looking at that ingredient list up top. Um, there's also like spice inventory, you could have a fruit inventory, um, etc. And each um, card has a type, so fruit, you, you get it. Um, and then you can also have um, further tags for like telling you how, how fast you should eat these ingredients. Um, so some things are storage items, like canned foods are an in, kind of indefinite. Um, some things have a few months on them, like sriracha um, and then you have a number of other options then you can put notes on how to store that ingredient which i think would be super useful um, i haven't actually used this template because i i don't know i'm too um i'm too stubborn to have any kind of structure in how i cook so i never use anything but thought it might be useful for people and then we'll see how these two um, things work really quickly so if we go back to the um, food stuff template, the meal planner, we'll then go to the recipe um, gallery template. Up here. So this gallery actually lives in the um, information forest, um, just because that's kind of, I don't know, it just made sense to me. You can move its home back to the food stuff. It, doesn't really matter, you link it anyway. Um, doesn't make a difference. Um, what you can do is web clip um, recipes to this, to this gallery. So I'll show you what that means. First, we can look up a new recipe. So tab. Um, let's say chicken farm. We can click on this recipe. And when it's all loaded, you can go to your Notion Web Clipper. Um, and you can get the Web Clipper just by typing into the web Notion Web Clipper. Um, and basically what it does is you can take any um, page and clip it. Um, basically take that link and any associated information and it creates a page within Notion, you can tell it where you want it to go. So um, I want this to go to the um, recipe, recipe gallery template. And we can save page. And as you can see, it is now here and the image is clipped in so that it shows up. And then um, here we have the recipe. So you can either web clip or you can just put in um, whatever like recipes you have. Um, for some reason, this didn't clip 
all of the info. It usually does. I don't exactly know why. So I'm going to copy and paste that info now into this. Okay, um, that copy and pasting was slightly more annoying than um, it should be. All recipes apparently doesn't. Um, it has like a weird setup. Anyway, other recipes usually clip pretty fine. Um, so now what you want to do is go through and add like the properties about this, um, about this recipe. So have you made it yet? Um, there are a bunch of tags here which you can change, um, make your own, um, delete, add, level of difficulty, active time, so amount of time you're actually spending in the kitchen um, versus total time. For example, if you're letting something rest or something's in the oven for a while and you don't need to do anything, um, that is added to total time but not active time. Stars is how do you rate it? Do you think it was amazing or do you question why it was even there? Um, notes about it. Um, maybe it's that you put too much salt the first time or that the recipe should be adjusted or that it's, I don't know, really anything. Um, the link automatically fills in when you web clip it. And then um, here is where we kind of get into the meal planning thing. So you have to add ingredients in here for the meal planning grocery shopping to work. Um, so if you, basically what you wanna do is like take these ingredients and don't copy them, but say like, Chicken is one of the ingredients, so um, not necessarily the amount, but just like the ingredient itself. Um, so you would add chicken um, and you would do that for all of these ingredients. And over time, what will happen is that you won't need to add new ingredients to that ingredient list. You'll just already have those ingredients um, in your list of ingredients because you will continually add more and more and eventually it'll just cover most of the recipes that you're making um, especially if you have kind of like a set type of cuisine or range of food that you like um so i can go in and add all those ingredients so let me do that okay i added in all those ingredients just by typing them in and then letting it pop up the option of adding a new page um, pop up and then um, if you yeah um, that's it for this again this won't tell you the exact amount of ingredients it's just telling you do you have those ingredients it's more to know that you need to buy um, those ingredients in general um, or just um, filling in the ingredient template okay so now um, if we go back to the meal planner, we have a table. And this table um, is the um, week in food. And um, how this works is you have seven pages, Monday through Sunday, and each week you wanna go in and update, um, update these dates. So delete this, delete the meals that you had, and refill it in with the dates of this week, with the meals that you're eating. Um, and it will automatically show you the groceries that you need for that day. Um, so how that works is you wanna fill in the meals um, with the recipes. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. And this automatically um, rolls up, which means it takes, it looks at this relational database and it takes um, the ingredients that are listed in that, um, in that page. And so it shows you all the ingredients that are needed. But the thing is, is this will repeat um, ingredients. So this is where um, you can get a grocery list, is if we look at the week shopping list, it is a, um, filtered view of the ingredients um, if they have um, a day made. And so the day made is it, when it's related to a, um, to a recipe, if that recipe is being used this week, um, this is filtering so that if that recipe is being used, if this ingredient is being used in a recipe this week, then it will show on this grocery list. 
and um, it will also show you what days you are going to be needing those groceries for. And what we can do here is sort it so that um, the ingredients that are um, purchased um, go to the bottom so that you don't look at them. So you only see the ones that you need. So this um, purchased checkbox means that it's in your inventory. And so you don't need to worry about getting more of it. If you're running low, you should check and check it off, even if you have a little bit, just to make sure that you get some if you need it. Um, and then it also shows you the recipes that it's connected to, um, and the, you can fill in the type of um, the type of ingredient that it is. So I'm going to fill in these types right now, and um, that's it. So again, you can fill in this information about these ingredients, but this just tells you if um, you want to make all those recipes this week that these are the things that you have to buy. There are things that you don't already have. And if we go back, there's one extra way that this incorporates into the rest of um, the life notion. And um, that's in the more complex version of Daily Notes. Um, so basically, um, in here we can see this week in food. Um, so it will show us the upcoming days. So it doesn't show us the days that have already passed because we've already eaten. Um, and it will show us the recipes that we have set out to cook for that day. So I haven't actually filled in fully the... Um, the table and again I just went back and updated the dates so that they were of this current week um, so if you don't update those dates this won't show it will only show when you go and update the dates of that actual um, of the actual this weekend food table which you can do by clicking this um, little arrow to navigate to the original database um, so let's say I open up Thursday and I want to make chicken parm again I can edit that in here. Um, so I'll add that and it will show me that that's what I'm making on today. Um, and that is it for the meal planning. If we go back to the food stuff um, um, page, I'll show you a couple extra things. Okay. Um, so there are just a couple extra things that might be helpful. So these are some more Notion templates um, for things related to food. Um, I didn't make these, obviously. Um, other people made them. They're just different examples of things that you can, ways that you can do this. So I copied the initial, um, the, like, what I did based off of this, but I made it better because this is actually not very good at its job, but that's okay. Um, not everyone can be like me. Um, and then I also added a food diary. Um, that was like one of the things that people had. Um, I don't currently use one, but I had, yeah, I said I had like, I got issues, so I used it for a while. So this was my version, but it's extremely, it allows for just a lot of detail and a lot of input. So unless you're like actually really paying attention to what you're eating and like taking note about literally like how many blueberries you're eating. Um, this is probably not super useful, but it's there. And then last of all is my cooking guide, which is just a thing that I have made um, for people who are just learning how to cook. And I'm still technically um, working on it, um, but you can uh, look around to see some um, uh, suggestions I have for how to set up your kitchen when you're moving into a new place, um, how to buy good local ingredients for cheap. It's focused on eating um, cheaply and eating healthily. Um, healthfully. Um, those are two things that I like doing. I don't like spending a lot of money on food. I also like eating well. Um, so this is focused on that. Um, and then there are also some like links to YouTube videos, random tips, um, and then I haven't filled out everything, so eventually I'll fill in more information about um, the different Minerva cities and potentially other cities that I end up living in in my life. 
Um, there's also like um, direct instructions on like how specific skills that you can learn. And then um, this is a recipe booklet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you go back, And that's the whole tutorial.